Hey YouTube, it's that time again. Let's check out our weekly featured items. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Check out this good condition original antique Civil War Confederate U.S. model 1842 pistol and a 54 percussion caliber. The lock has the nice Palmetto Armory South Carolina markings and is dated 1852. The barrel has a P and V and Palmetto tree proof marks and is marked WM Glaze and Company on the side. It's dated 1853 on the tang and mechanically functions fine. The hammer spur has a repair. The metal finish is an original bright with some gray and brown patina and some light pitting. Smooth bore is dark and pitted. The stock has original finish and shows some normal wear and handling marks. Left side of stock has carved D. Brass fittings have attracted patina and some dings. The swiveling ramrod is removed as was common. This is a rare Palmetto Armory model 1842 pistol with only a thousand produced that would make a fine addition to any collection. Check out this good condition World War II German G43 semi-auto rifle and an 8mm Mauser caliber that is marked AC44 on the receiver for manufactured by Walther in 1944. This rifle is not import marked. The bolt carrier was renumbered to match the receiver. The stock does not match. It mechanically functions fine and comes with one post-war Danish made magazine. The metal finish is an original blue showing some normal wear. The bore is good with strong rifling and a little gray. The stock shows some wear and handling marks and scratches and appears to have been refinished. The right side buttstock has a marked R and has a waffle knot. It comes complete with a cleaning rod and front sight hood. This is a good representative example of a classic World War II German G43 rifle. Next this week is a good condition original World War II German 8.8 cm Flask 41 anti-aircraft cannon round. Inert, safe, and legal to own. Brass casing has a nice looking color and one dent. The throat has a crack. There are nice markings on the bottom including a model designation and code AUX44 for manufactured by Polt AG in 1944. Projectile has nice original black paint and white paint markings. The fuse is dated 1942. This is a nice World War II German 88 flak round. Very hard to find that would make an impressive display piece. Up next is a fine condition World War II Portuguese M937 model 1937 Mauser rifle in an 8mm Mauser caliber that has a sharp clear Portuguese crest on the receiver ring and Abendorf manufacturer markings on the side rail. This rifle was manufactured under contract in the Third Reich Germany. It was essentially a K98K with the addition of a bottom band and buttstock sling swivels. The rifle is import marked on the barrel and has all matching serial numbers including the cleaning rod. The rifle has a nice original blue finish showing a little wear, mostly the trigger guard, floor plate, and butt plate. The bore is bright and excellent with strong rifling. The stock has original finish and shows some normal handling marks. The right side of the buttstock and the underside of the wrist and buttstock have sharp, clear Inspector German Waffernot cartouches. The underside of the buttstock also has a matching serial number. This is a nice Portuguese M937 Mauser rifle that would make a fine addition to a collection. Up next, we have a very good condition antique English Thomas Patton double action revolver and a .50 Adams caliber. It mechanically functions fine and tight and features a unique quick eject system with camming barrel that has a bolt handle on the underside. It also features a hammer block safety on the left side of the frame. The left side of the frame is marked Thomas Patton number 779 with serial number 61. The revolver is a retailer marked Wilkinson Paul Mall, London on the top strap. The frame and cylinder are in the white with some gray and brown patina. It has a 5.5 inch octagonal barrel with nice original high polished blue finish. The bore is very good and bright with strong rifling. The wood grip has original finish and shows some handling marks. The original lanyard ring is present. The hammer spur has been trimmed. This is a rare and interesting revolver that would make a fine addition to a collection. Next is a good condition World War II Japanese Type II Arasaka paratrooper rifle in a 7.7 millimeter caliber. The mum is ground. The receiver side rail has the Nagoya Arsenal marking. Rifle is not import marked and has matching serial numbers on the receiver, bolt body, safety extractor, and firing pin. The halves of the takedown mechanisms do not match. The rifle has an added matching number on the left side of the rear sight. 
The barrel does not match. The metal finish has an original blue showing some normal wear. The bore is bright and excellent with strong rifling. The forend and handguard have been shortened and the forend very shaped. The sling swivels are missing. The wood shows some normal handling marks. And the underside of the buttstock has two small kanji character inspector proof marks. This is a hard to find type 2 Arasaka paratrooper rifle in any condition that can be rebuilt to the original T99 stock. Next up is a fine condition Persian model 1949 Mauser carbine in an 8mm Mauser caliber and has a sharp clear Persian lion crest on the receiver ring and Farsi manufacturer markings on the side rail. This rifle is not import marked and has all matching serial numbers including the receiver, bolt, and stock. The metal finish is a nice original blue. There is a little pitting on the receiver and a patch of pitting on the butt plate. The bore is bright and excellent with strong rifling. The stock has an excellent original finish and crisp edges. Top of the wrist has a crack behind the receiver or tang. The front of the handguard has a hairline crack and the heel has a tiny crack. The right side buttstock has sharp clear matching serial numbers and inspector cartouches. It comes complete with the original cleaning rod. This is a nice Persian 1949 Mauser carbine with matching numbers. Up next is a good condition World War II Japanese Type 38 Arasaka carbine in a 6.5 by 50 millimeter caliber and has a full untouched mama on the receiver and was manufactured as part of the second series by Kokura Arsenal. The carbine is not in part marked and has all matching serial and assembly numbers except for the lower tang. This interesting gun comes with an old paper stating it was brought back from Guam by Ralph S. Dickerson, who was a Marine in the ammunition company of the 1st Provisional Marine Brigade, Fleet Marine Force Pacific. The metal finish is an original blue showing some wear. The bore is good, mostly bright, with strong rifling and a little pitting. The stock has been refinished. It comes complete with the correct original cleaning rod. This is a nice T-38 Arasaka carbine with bring back provenance. This is a very good condition World War I French MLE M16 Berthier rifle in an 8mm Lebel caliber. Built on a Chartonnel MLE 1907-15 receiver, but has the M16 5-shot magazine. The barrel is marked MPA and dated 1917. This interesting gun was supplied to Poland after the war and has Polish eagle markings on the receiver and barrel, along with the Polish triangle Z marking. The metal finish is a nice Arsenal re-blue. The bore is good with strong rifling and a little gray and some pitting. The stock has their arsenal refinished and shows some normal handling marks. This is a rare Polish marked birthday rifle that would make a fine addition to a collection.